What's up, nerds? Happy Thursday to you. Uh, this is the Rogue Spartan vlog, my personal vlog on DNA. Today is another Friends and Fan Friday, but you're right, it's Thursday. Like I said, I'm answering questions every day this week. This one comes from our friend Scott, and he asks, Since it's Thursday, I'm going to give you a retro question. What is your favorite retro console of all time? Then he gave me very specific rules before Xbox 360, PS3, and Wii era. So, I'm going to answer that question for you, Scott. You know, for a long time, I didn't have a Super Nintendo. And then I got one. And I love that system. And that's a lot of people's choices. Uh, the NES is also a very classic system. Uh, and the Dreamcast is looked fondly upon. But, you know, a lot of people love that machine for certain reasons. And, you know, I love that machine too. But for me, my favorite console of all time is the Nintendo 64. You know, I, I almost picked GameCube when I came across your question. But for me, the N64, I just rem I have so many fond memories of that console. And, you know... I remember getting that console for Christmas. I remember, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to tell the story. So for Christmas, I asked for a Nintendo 64. It had it come out, it was super hard to find that Christmas. It was super hard to find that Christmas and you know, it became the item I wanted the most. I couldn't find one. My parents couldn't find one, but you know, I, I was sad. I, I just, I wanted that system really bad and all my friends were getting it and you know, I wanted it. Uh, call me selfish, but I was also 10. So when Christmas came along, I opened all my gifts and my grandma ended up uh, showing up with a big bag of presents. And one of the presents she gave me was Super Mario 64 because my parents told me or told her that I wanted one. So I was, uh, I was sad because I couldn't play Super Mario 64. And then a little bit later during the day, my grandma went back out to her car and pulled out a big box and it was a Nintendo 64. Uh, the box was wrapped and I tore it open and I was so excited. I was so excited. In fact, that I was mad <laughs> that nobody would leave so I could go upstairs <laughs> and play my new Nintendo 64. You know, my, my grandma meant a lot to me, and I think that's a little bit of the reason why that system mean, means so much to me is the fact that, you know, she kind of, I, don't get me wrong, I love my parents. They do so much for me, and they, like, you know, I'm really close with them. But I was really, really close with my grandma, and, you know, she was the one who was always encouraging and, and making sure that, I got what I needed to succeed and was there for me when I failed. And uh, I think that's a little bit of the reason why the Nintendo 64 meant so much to me. And the fact that she found one and got it for me and, and the fact that, you know, I played it every single day, even way after I got my PlayStation two and GameCube, like I still played my Nintendo 64. Uh, it, it's, it's an amazing system. You know, there's a lot of great games, but there's more meaning behind that system. And I think that's why it's my favorite system. Uh, some of my favorite games on the system, Super Mario 64, definitely. Uh, Majora's Mask, definitely. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie, obviously one of them. Diddy Kong Racing, Mario Kart, Smash Brothers. You know, the, the traditional staples in a Nintendo lineup, but this was kind of before or that period when those games started getting bigger. Uh, you know, everybody wants a Mario 64 successor, and, you know, we think the Switch Mario game is going to be that. GoldenEye, Perfect Dark were great games. Turok, uh, you know, the Turok series was awesome. There were a whole bunch of games on that system that, I don't mean, Rogue, Rogue, uh, Rogue Squadron, Shadows of the Empire, NBA Hangtime, which was the sequel to NBA Jam that nobody really knows about. Uh, I had this really weird snowboarding game that I was really obsessed with called Twisted Edge Extreme Snowboarding. 
and I was always the English dude that there's this black Englishman who had dreadlocks and he was always like, right. Oh, jolly dude. And it was awesome. And I, for some reason I was obsessed with that game. Uh, a lot of people played Tony Hawk on PlayStation while I had it on N64. Cause I never had a PlayStation one, uh, you know, Tony Hawk one and two. Some of the only games that required a real memory card, by the way. So if you're hunting those classic games down memory card, I remember going over to Brian's and playing wrestling games. It uh, going over there and playing Gauntlet Legends. It was it was awesome. That system uh, changed a lot of the way I felt about games. Uh, you know, it was amazing moving from the Genesis and Super Nintendo to a 3D space. It was amazing that one little joystick could change the way you play games. Uh, the weird controller that was built specifically for Nintendo games. It was awesome. So, uh, yeah, that's that's my thoughts. That's my favorite system. Those are some of my favorite games. Uh, you know, there there there's so many more. I can't tell you how many games I I enjoyed on that system and still enjoy to this day. You know, the Wii U Virtual Console and the Wii Virtual Console. They didn't have a lot of N64 games, but the ones they did have on there uh, were great. Oh, Star Fox 64 also. Jeez, another awesome game. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to wrap up this vlog. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Remember, you can catch a new one from me daily on dnanetwork.net and here on the DNA Network YouTube page, youtube.com slash Digital Nerd Advocates Network. Like, subscribe, and share. You can follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram at RogueSpartan4. Download my podcast, NGR Radio, which I do with Matthew Keel and a host of other people. Uh, you know, we talk, do a topical podcast and a conversational podcast every Monday at 10 a.m. Thanks so much for watching and until tomorrow.